Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today we are going to derive this formula which is equal to the d square by 162. This formula is to find the weight of the steel bar to weight of the steel bar per meter. This formula is used. So in this lecture we are going to derive this formula step by step. Let's consider this is any steel bar, which is given is one meter. The length of the steel bar is one meter, and this is the diameter of the steel bar. So we will be deriving this formula in four steps. The first step we will be doing is to find the area of the steel bar. We will find the area of the bar. The second one is the volume of the bar. The third step will be the density of the steel bar. And the fourth step will be the weight of the bar per meter. Weight of the bar per meter. So in this four step, we will be we will be derived this this formula. So the first step is to the area of the steel bar. So the area of the steel bar is known to us that the area of bar is the, is this a circular steel bar. So the, its area will be equal to the pi d square by 4. This is the formula used to find the area of the circular object. So this steel bar is a circular, so the area is pi d square by 4. The second step is to find the volume of the bar. So the volume of the bar will be equal to the volume of bar is equal to the area into length of the bar. So the area is given to us, which is pi d square by 4 pi d squared by 4 into the length of the bar, which is 1 meter here, we can see, or we can also write it here, 1000 millimeter, because 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. So the length of the bar here is 1000 millimeter, right? So the next step will be to find the density of the bar. The density of the steel bar is known to us, density of the bar, density of the steel bar is known to us that it is equal to the 7850 kilogram per cubic meter. This is also known to us. So now, to find the weight of the bar uh, per meter, so let's suppose first convert this into also into millimeter. So it will be like this, 7850 kilogram divided by the, if I convert this meter into cubic millimeter, so it will be like this way. Because one meter is equal to thousand millimeter, so there are cube. So one, two, three. So three times thousand. This is now kilogram per millimeter in millimeter unit. So the fourth step will be to find the weight of the bar per meter, right? The fourth step is to find the weight of the bar per meter. So it will be equal to the weight of the bar per meter. So it will be equal to the the density of the bar, the volume of the bar, and to the density of the bar. The density of the bar is, is we find is, it is equal to this, and the volume of the bar is equal to this. So we will multiply these two, so we will get our weight of the bar per meter. So volume is known to us, which is pi d square. So pi value is 3.14 into d square, which is diameter of the bar. A pi d square, this is the thousand into thousand. This is the volume of the bar, and the density of the bar is that one. So I will write this formula here now. So I will, I have to remove this uh, steps. And there are four steps you have seen. So if I write here, the density is 7850 divided by this, we will get the weight of the bar per meter. So now cancelling 1,000 with 1,000. So we have simplified this. It will now be comes out, comes out to be by uh, 3.14 divided by 4. We get 0 0.785 d squared into, if I divide 7850 by 1,000 into 1,000, we will get 0 0.0075. So now, if I multiply these two values, so I will get 0 0.0061 d squared. So d, here we can see 
is d squared. So just I multiply these two values. Now this is, this value can be solved as, which is equal to the weight of the bar per meter, weight of the bar per meter. It can be solved out. It uh, d square if I move this the whole value into the denominator, so it will become like this one, 0 0.061. It is the rule of maths that when you are moving, shifting the value this into denominator, so it will be like 1 divided by the 0 0.0061. So when I divide this value, so it comes out to be, when I divide this by calculator, this value, so it comes out to be 162 point six something. So this is the derivation of this formula d squared by 162 which is used to find the weight of the steel bar per meter where uh, the d uh, of the is used uh, is the diameter of the steel bar and this should be in millimeter right because all the units here we deal in millimeter so this d is also used in millimeter so putting the value of uh, uh, diameter of the bar here in millimeter divided by the 162 we will get the value of the steel bar per meter. You can also find the total length of the bar just by multiplying the how much the length of the bar is. So this was all about the today topic and subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.